Hi Year 3! Today in English, our learning intention is we are learning to use appropriate language to share stories for different purposes. Remembering appropriate is the right kind of language and word choices so that we can make an interesting and engaging story. Our success criteria is I can write texts using varying lexical density. Lexical density is a new term, so we need to look more closely at what that means and how we can write our own texts using varying lexical density. What is lexical density? Well, there are two words in this term, so let's break it down. Firstly, lexical is an adjective meaning related to words, language or vocabulary. It comes from the Greek word lexi meaning word. So basically, lexical means something to do with words. The next word is density, which is a noun that describes how tightly or closely together something is packed. As we see in the image, there's an example of the density of matter, where gas is particles that are loose and far away from each other, liquid is particles that are closer together, and solid is tightly packed particles. We can see when there's lots of free space, it's less dense, and when things are tightly packed and close together, it is more dense. So to answer what is lexical density, it is how many key words are packed into a sentence and how many clauses, parts of a sentence carrying meaning and information, and how much information is packed into a text. We have two example texts on this page. The first one, Wednesday's fighting day, oh what fun, is low lexical density. There's not a lot of information packed into those simple sentences. Whereas the next example, the beginning of chapter one of a novel, has higher lexical density. If we read the first sentence, the little white princess always woke in her little white bed when the starlings began to chatter in the pearl grey morning. There is lots of information in that sentence, lots of key words that help us to understand the text and carry meaning. So they are examples of lower lexical density and higher lexical density. Now you may think that lower lexical density is for simpler texts and higher lexical density is for more complicated texts, which is generally the case. But often good writers write interesting stories by mixing up and using varying lexical density in their texts, low and high lexical density. A great example of using varying lexical density is the first page of the text The Fantastic Flying Books of Mr. Morris Lessmore, which we analysed yesterday. As we can see, the first three sentences have low lexical density. They are short, simple sentences that give us just basic information, whereas the rest of the page is higher lexical density, complex sentences with a lot more detail and information. Using varying lexical density makes this introduction of the story more interesting and engaging for the reader. Sentences with low lexical density are generally simple sentences. They are short, sharp and to the point and provide clear information to the audience. Using sentences with low lexical density, even in more complex texts, can be very useful for writers and for their audience when they want to clearly convey a certain piece of information. In the example, Mr. Morris Lessmore loved words. He loved stories. He loved books. This is the first thing that William Joyce tells us about this character, and it makes it very clear to the audience that this is a strong passion of the main character, so we know exactly what we need to know about him to understand the rest of the text. Sentences with high lexical density are usually compound or complex sentences that are longer and more detailed. Using these sentences allow the reader to imagine and create their own interpretation of the text, rather than being black and white clear information like low lexical density sentences. If we read the example, his life was a book of his own writing, one orderly page after another. He would open it every morning and write of his joys and sorrows, of all that he knew and everything that he hoped for. This high lexical density section of the text gets us to start imagining and really engage with the story and Mr. Morris Lessmore as a character. By using varying lexical density, William Joyce was able to 
clearly introduce the important information about his main character, as well as creating an interesting and engaging introduction for his audience that captures our imagination and helps us to begin visualising what is happening in the story. Authors often use varying lexical density to achieve different purposes when writing their texts. If we take this example from the text The Dark by the author Lemony Snicket, we can see that he has used high lexical density in the first section of this page. The voice of the dark was as creaky as the roof of the house and as smooth and cold as the windows. And even though the dark was right next to Laszlo, the voice seemed very far away. So the high lexical density in this detailed description really engages the audience and helps us to visualize and imagine the scene he is describing and how his character is feeling. Then we have low lexical density. What do you want? asked Laszlo. I want to show you something, said the dark. Short and to the point and really contributes to that feeling of fear this author is trying to create by giving us minimal information and making us wonder what is going on and what it is that the dark wants to show Laszlo. We can follow William Joyce's example and by changing a few key words, use his structure of low and high lexical density to introduce a character of our own. Here's an example I've created. Marissa May loved art. She loved paint. She loved pictures. Her life was a masterpiece of her own creation, one colourful canvas after another. She would spend her days capturing it all in crayons and charcoals, acrylics and inks, drawing her thoughts and feelings, decorating the world with her imagination and designing her dreams for the future. So I began with three short, sharp sentences with low lexical density that clearly tell my audience what Marissa May, my character's passion is. It's art, paint and pictures. Then I go on with a higher lexical density description, which helps the audience to become more engaged and imagine the creations that Marissa May creates through her artwork. Now it's your turn. Just like I did, you're going to follow William Joyce's example and change some key words in the sentences to introduce your own character and their interest or passion using varying lexical density. So you get to think of whatever character you like and whatever their passion or interest is to introduce. Start with three simple sentences to clearly tell your audience about your character using low lexical density. Then use complex sentences to describe in more detail and engage your audience's imagination. I look forward to reading your introductions to your characters using varying lexical density.